G'day, how the bloody hell are you? It is Cracker Fruity bringing you some of the latest DLC for Battlefield 3, which is of course the final DLC for Battlefield 3 called Endgame. Uh, now I know some of you, some of my subscribers, uh, have been wondering why it's taken me so long to get a video up about this, especially considering I have a PlayStation 3 and of course it came out earlier for PlayStation 3. And the reality is I've kind of been avoiding doing this video. Um, because I hate to say it, I just don't really enjoy Endgame all that much. Uh, but before you go and hit that dislike button, let me explain to you why. Um, so first of all, those of you who don't uh, watch my channel or haven't seen any other videos and that, I wasn't a huge fan of Armored Kill, right? I thought the maps were too big, um, it was too vehicle based, and even though I like vehicles and they definitely have their place in Battlefield, I'm not a huge vehicle guy myself, I like running around on foot, using guns, that sort of thing. And uh, in Armored Kill, I just felt there was too much time getting between flags and objectives, things like that. Uh, and as soon as you arrive, you die and, and all that sort of thing. Well, when I first loaded up uh, Endgame, I dropped into a Conquest game. And the first thing I noticed was the dirt bike, which I spawned next to. And I jumped on that and had a great time. You know, bummed around on that, figured out how to do wheel stands and really just general fuck about -ery. Uh, had a great time. But then the second thing I noticed was the fact that uh, between the deployment and the final flag up near the enemy's deployment was damn near 500 metres. And suddenly I had that horrible realisation um, that this was another, another armoured kill map. So anyway, I played that game out, didn't think much of it, didn't want it to ruin the experience. Loaded up the second map and yet again there was about 500, near enough, 500 metres um, between flags. And it shits me. I, I'm not a fan of Armored Kill, and these are just more Armored Kill maps. So uh, I haven't really played a lot of that. Uh, and then, of course, there's the, the party game for this DLC, which is the uh, airborne, the jet fighter combat, whatever it's called. And I'm not a jet pilot. I suck at jets. I've never really put much time into them because they don't interest me. And because I haven't put much time into them, I suck at them. So I think I played one game and went two kills, 22 deaths, something like that. Um, anyway, not something that will keep me uh, involved. Finally, there's Capture the Flag, which is a good game type. I did actually enjoy that. Uh, I like the different dynamic it brings. It forces people to push and rush, and you can't dick about up the back. you got to get involved. you got to go and help people out. Otherwise, you know, well... There's no consequences. But anyway, you're going to annoy all your team, so you have to go and do that. I like that. I enjoyed it. But the maps are still freaking huge, and it's a long way to run, which I can understand. So, yeah, do give this game mode a try. Uh, otherwise, the unfortunate reality is with games like the Armour 3 Alpha just being released, uh, I've been playing a lot of Wasteland on that. I'm loving that game. I've also just paid a three-month subscription to iRacing, which is a racing simulator, uh, as well as buying Formula 1 2012. Uh, on Steam, picked it up cheap, and those games at the moment are just keeping me interested, more interested than uh, than Endgame was able to do. So I'm sorry it took so long to come out, and I'm sorry it's negative. Um, if you do like it, feel free to let me know. Leave leave comments in the comment section. Let me know why you like it or why you don't like it or whatever the case may be. Anyway, that's about it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like. Uh, hit subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you next time.